Why mm. is protein so important for weight loss? Okay, there, there are two different reasons, uh, two broad reasons why. I mean, clearly they're, they're going to be associated. Um, and so there are two, so a calorie of, famously, uh, a calorie of protein makes you feel fuller, more satiated than a calorie of fat, than a calorie of carb in that order. All right. And there are two different reasons why. So, so like I said, we eat calories, eat, sorry, like I said, we eat food and not calories <laughs> and uh, <laughs> at a Freudian slip. And there are two stages your body goes through to extract um, calories from food. The first stage is digestion, which we, which we talk about, right? The chewing, um, uh, the, the order chemical digestion. And there is a golden rule here, really quite a good golden rule, which works not only for protein, but also for fiber. But the longer something takes to digest, the farther down your gut it will go. And the farther down it goes, different hormones are released and you feel fuller. Okay. And so protein just happens to take longer to digest. It's more complicated. It's just, it's just more difficult to take it apart than something else. And so it tends to travel further down the gut different hormones are released and you feel fuller. So that's the first thing. Now, protein uh, um, is broken down into amino acids, the building blocks within your, within your gut. And then that gets transported across the gut wall into your blood. And amino acids and sugar and fatty acids are themselves not energy. They're fuel still. So they're then transported to your organ, to your cells, wherever they're, 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 they, you, need, you need them. They're then metabolized. And this is the second part of how we actually get the energy, digestion and metabolism. And so each of those, uh, uh, so, so what happens with the metabolism is it takes a lot of energy to metabolize protein. So, so for every 100 calories of protein that you eat, this is unusual. You don't normally do this. It's, I'm just using it as an example so that we understand. But for every 100 calories of protein we eat, we only ever use, on average, 70 calories, seven zero. So it takes 30% of the protein calories you eat to handle protein. So just out of, the, out of the blocks, all the protein calorie counts everywhere are 30% out because they don't take into account the 30% of energy it takes to actually um, um, deal with protein. And so it's a mix. It's a mix of the fact that protein takes longer to digest and more energy to metabolize together it makes protein more satiating for us. It makes us feel fuller, even though we eat exactly the same number of calories of protein than fats or carbs. Yeah. 